DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is a network management protocol used for automatically assigning IP addresses and other communication parameters to devices connected to the network. It's one of the most important roles installed on any network and is essential to allow connected devices work properly. This is a good enough reason to have a backup. So in case of an emergency, you can always restore it within seconds. Let's start by creating a folder for our backup. This could be a local folder on the server itself or a network shared folder. Open File Explorer, browse to the location where you want to create the folder, right click, name it and press enter. You probably already know how to create a folder, but just in case, if you don't, that's how you do it. Now, open Server Manager, click Tools and click DHCP. When you expand your server, you can see the scope, its address pool, leases, reservations and other options. You are now ready to start a backup. Please subscribe. If you open a command window and type the command netsh dhcp server dump all, you will see all the information from the DHCP server. This information is all you need to be able to restore your DHCP server. So the next step would be to save this information in a file. To do that, run the command netsh dhcp server dump all just like before. Add the greater than sign and a file into which you want this information to be saved. This will tell Windows to save the output of that command into a file instead of showing it on the screen. If you give the file a .txt extension, it would be easier to view later using Notepad. It doesn't matter which extension you choose. When you open the file, you can see the configuration and settings of your DHCP server. To demonstrate a restore, I am now deleting the scope. This message says that the scope is active and verifies that I want to delete it. Another verification alert that the scope may have active clients and makes sure this is indeed what I want to do. After deleting the scope, you can now see that the configuration is blank. Just to simulate a new environment, I am also removing the server from the DHCP console. To start the restore process, add a server by right-clicking the DHCP here and click Add Server. This next part depends on the situation. If you have an authorized server, choose it from the list here and click OK. If you don't have an authorized server, enter the server name here and click OK. The server is now active, but doesn't have any settings. If you had to manually add an unauthorized server in the previous step, you will need to authorize it now by right-clicking the server name here and clicking Authorize. Open a command window and type the command netsh exec followed by a full path of the backup file, like this. The results will be shown on the screen. Now, go back to the DHCP console and refresh. The scope has been restored, including all its settings, reservations and options. To automate this process, you can create a script that includes the backup command and schedule it using Windows Scheduler to run every week, every day or even every hour.